Okay, I've laid the tabletop upside down on the table. We're going to build this table upside down. Why? It's going to be more convenient for us. We're in a confined area and it's just going to work out easier that way. You build all the legs straight up, all we've got to do is square it out. Now, let me show you on the angle what I've done here. First thing I did was I took this corner of the angle that would have extended out and down, I took it off. I could have left it, but when you have a welding bench, you want to be able to get clamps all the way around it. This would have just been an impediment. Okay, so simply that's why we did it. I beveled, small bevel here, just so that when I go put my weld in to tack this plate down, uh, I've got some place for it to go and a little more welding bite. When I weld this table down, I'm not going to weld it all the way around. I'm just going to put in stitch welding, okay? Uh, so that means that we're going to put like one inch every six inches. We're going to put one inch of weld. That's going to be plenty enough. All we want this top to do is stay on top of this angle so our legs will connect. This is not a, a rocket ship. Okay, so in order to get my frame squared up, First thing I did, I took a uh, square and I squared the corners. So all my pieces, when I cut them, I tried to cut them as close as I could to square and length so that I could just put it together and it would be pretty square, and it is. But then to double check my square, and the easiest way to do it is to go corner to corner with your tape. So when you have this diagonal, length matching this diagonal length, it's square. The next thing we've got to do is I want to clamp this table down. I want to clamp these angles down to the top because I want to get it as snug as I can. I don't want it well to shrink in and pull it so I end up with some of this. All right, so I'm going to put the clamps on this, uh, on this table and then I'm going to recheck my square. So I'm going to come over here and because this table has an end on it, I can't get around it, so I'm going to have to go around the angle of the table and then tighten up my clamp. Now that's precisely the reason why on the table that we're building, we're going to have an edge all the way around it. And with this size of an angle, we're doubling the outside edge in thickness. And what is that going to do for us? Well, occasionally you've got to do some banging and some hammering, and that's going to give you added strength on your, uh, on your outside edge of your table. So it's going to kind of act as double duty here. All right. So basically, we've got to get some stuff out of the way here so that we can get the clamps in. And when you put the clamps on, just kind of snug them so that things don't wobble around because we want to double check. I want to knock some clamps over because that way I can bend over and pick them up. Okay. So we're going to do, we're going to clamp this thing up, snug my clamp just gently. A lot easier just to go off the edge than it is to have to wrap around something. All right, now I'm going to come around the front. And you know what? Now I'm going to get these guys to turn the camera off. I'll put all these clamps on, and then I'll come back. All right, I got all my clamps on. Now let's check and just see if anything has moved. I had a measurement of 43 and 5 eighths. I'm still here on this side at 43 and 5 eighths, so this side should still be the same, 43 and 5 eighths. It stayed right where we had it set before. So, we are now ready to go ahead and start tacking this thing all together. So, without further ado, turn on the machine. Alright, now once I start tacking this thing, I'm going to be skipping around and uh, and bouncing from one place to the other. I don't want to have a lot of heat build up. 
but I want to get this thing generally all tacked in position, okay? So I'm just going to kind of bounce around. You're going to have to follow. All right. Start right here. Outside edge. Oh. Guess what? When I was setting this thing up, I moved my ground clamp. And without the ground clamp, this thing won't well. So, put the ground clamp on. And we will start again. Trim off my end. A little stub that didn't, didn't hit. Alright, here we go. Alright. in between the tacks that we've put in there and we finish we'll go ahead and weld what we want to weld some of our tacks are going to be big enough to leave so I'm going to get off camera finish that part up and then we're going to put the legs in okay I've finished welding the frame to the top you can see I've got my weld all the way across and all the way up the side if you look down the side here and follow this thing all the way around, I've stitch welded it all the way around. So the next thing we're ready to do is install our legs. But if you remember, I didn't finish welding the legs. I tacked them together, make sure I had them in the right place. Now I'm ready to go ahead, pick my leg up, go ahead and finish welding it. You don't need to see that. You've already seen enough welding. Let me go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. 